Welcome back and thank you for keeping it Switch TV. On our special feature tonight, the one that we have been working on for the past six months, our reporter Robert Homer brings us the painful money. Take a look. In a world that only the fittest thrive, they have suffered and felt their worst pain, all this in a quest for survival. But look, as some would continuously take up the Deputy Jesus' position and judge from high horse, have you ever wondered why they do it? Have you ever wondered what they enjoy in the line of duty? These individuals, who are mainly young ladies and mothers, have encountered pain and taken bullets for the sake of their families and children, a situation that none of them ever wished to be in, whose only way to smile is through agony. And this is the painful money. My name is Robert Oma. ingetaka mtu apitie ile hali nimepitia lakini unapatana na wengine hata hawataki kujua vile uko hata ukielezea mtu anakwambia unamtaganya sasa tunapitianga hali mgumu sana juu hata unapataga na wengine hata ukielezea hali yako uambie mimi niko hali hii hakuna mtu anaweza kubali for the longest time, the phrase work is work has been a refuge for many seeking to earn a living in major cities across the world. But under the Kenyan constitution, one would only enjoy the fruit of their labor if what one does is recognized by the Kenyan charter. These facts renders commercial sex work in the country as against the law and tops the list of jobs that the workers are not super proud of in the country. In our quest to understand the agony and the whole story for the past six months, our journey here takes us to Itevia in Kembu County to speak to some of the commercial sex workers who have agreed to an interview to share their dark past and their hearts whose identities we won't reveal. <laughs> Kweda nikaanza nikatafuta nyumba nikakomboa nyumba kukomboa nyumba sasa ndio nilianza nilijipata nikiwa sex worker nilijipata baada ya maisha kunikalia ngumu nikaenda kufanya kazi ya nyumba nikaona pesa hazitoshi ndio nikajikuta kwa street nikaambiwa na rafiki yangu mwingine twende nikakuonyeshe kazi tukanua ndizi ya 100 mimi nikaenda nikaambia nimepata ndizi ya 50 akaniambia mbona we ni mjinga si ndizi tunauzanga hapo unajidanganya ni ndizi lakini unauza Sally was introduced to this kind of job by a friend after her broken marriage. Her first client got her glued here. The pay was more than what she'd ever earned in her entire life. Sawa watoto wangu wanajua tu mimi nafanya biashara. Ya hoki na wabianga na hoku. Na hoku viatu, na hoku matisha za mtumba hivyo. Sasa siku ya kwanza mimi sikufaa kodom. Juu niliona pesa mingi. Sasa nikaona pesa mingi na sijai kuona hiyo pesa. Wewe ulisema unategenga wanaume places kama gani na gani? Sana sana nendanga Ruiru kwa hiyo street nikikosa fare kama sasa hii nataka niende kwa hiyo street juu sina pesa. Lakini nikiwa na pesa naenda mbali mbali. Mm, kuna wakati tena mimi nishawaienda Garissa. And then eh, Monday to Friday naweza kuwa na kama 6 or 5 per day. Eh, lakini weekend weekend naweza pata naenda nao hata 10 tulisikie Unaweza pata mtu angili unaweza pata mtu wa 200 mwingine wa 500 na ni shoti moja and like any other job the challenges they encounter here are heartbreaking unapatana na mtu analeta shida anamkigia kwa room anaanza kuleta fita sasa ukimuonyesha hata kodom anakatana anakataa kabisa akakwambia hii means tumiangi hizi vitu hali yangu ya afya si sawa mimi niko positive na na kunywa dawa mm. Let's 
Growing up, I've always known that Nairobi is among those cities in the world that run a 24-hour economy. Slowly, COVID stagnated things, but economy is picking up steadily. It is 9.30 p.m. I'm headed to the streets of Nairobi to really see what happens there at this time of the night. It is 11 p.m. Thursday, 25th November 2021 in the busy Nairobi Koinange Street, the country's most popular red light district where the high and mighty, thick and slim indulge for a common reason, buying sex. And on this video that I recorded secretly using a hidden camera to these young ladies, the morning has come and they are fresh for work, selling their bodies for as low as 100 shillings, depending on how well you carry yourself and present yourself to them. And on this other side of the street, we see this young lady having a conversation with a man inside a car in a traffic, trying to bargain on the charges for his session and shortly before they settled on one, the traffic was clear and the last statement I had was to botanic palikwa corner to mean let's meet at the corner. Luko tumelewana lakini tulivo fika pale akawa mkali eh, ikanibidi ni kubali kwa sababu watu wangu walikuwa wamefukuzwa shule kabidi ni kubali nifanye hivyo hiyo kitendo ndo nipate pesa mm. na ili, ili ni affect maana kwa wiki nilikuwa naweka naweka kama e, pampas jua linyaribu kwa nikikaa tu natoa uchafu kwa nyuma ni kama ni mtu alikuwa amekunywa madawa alinyaribu alinipa 1000 e, lakini kwa hiyo 1000 nilitumia karibu 1000 kujitibu hata 100 kuna wakati nafikaga hakuna kitu nakata hata ikiwa ni 100 200 hivyo hivyo Sasa wewe mtalala na yeye dakika mwisho dia mtaongea pesa mzuri kidogo kama 500 tu. Juu utaki kuendea watoto bila. Since the onset of COVID-19 all sectors were derailed in operation and this was not exceptional. It is 12:04 p.m. on Monday 6th September 2021 at Sabina Joy. With the COVID-19 restrictions put in place by the Ministry of Health and the government including curfew hours these has tampered heavily with this sector and so they are forced to utilize their daytime and this young man as seen in this video is about to be trapped the list of challenges continues najua tumeona sex worker wengi wameuliwa juu ya hiyo kitu mnaenda na mtu mnakunywa pombe dakika mwisho tunampata hapo chini ya karibu na club ameuliwa However, the Kiambu Sex Workers Association officials say that commercial sex work should be recognized by the Kenyan constitution just like any other tax paying job. The constitution is not very clear on sex work. Um, the only thing that, that uh, criminalizes sex work, we call it, they call it prostitution, it's the penal code. Yes, and uh, we've, we've had a case challenging this penal code. It's called decrim and um, they never found sufficient evidence to decriminalize but we are in the process of appealing and as we were continuing with our interview another victim of torture while at work last night came and i was curious to know what happened alikuwa na mwanaume jana client aka akakataa kumlipa wakati alidai pesa yake ule mwanaume alianza kumchapa na hata akaweza kumua meno hiyo jina moja the grief that the society has suffered in the hands of who they call their customers mimi nikilala huko si kujua vile nililala juu niliona kisu nikaogopa nikaona sasa nitawasha watoto peke yao na shida hapo ndio mambo ilikuwa baya kabisa juu hata aganiua mm nikupiga duru sasa aliniambia nikipiga duru tena nikuniua tu the tears they have shed to survive cancels completely the slogan work is work if only they had an option they say naweza fanya biashara nikipata namna lakini sasa hizi hizi pesa za sex worker naweza sema ni kama zililaaniwa hata ukiweka usema ufungue biashara inaangukanga tu mtu atusaidie tunaweza toka hata kwa barabara tu sio kupenda kwetu tuna tunaenda hii for these ladies who nail their lives to strangers each day to survive their only safety is guided by their creator shida dio hiyo ukikosa kuenda shida dio hiyo sasa tunadaga hata kukiwa mgojwa unaenda tu after kutoka huko ndio nilikuja nikapata hawa watoto na hawa watoto si nikaingilia kazi ya sex worker hata watoto sijui baba yao nilikuwa najikuta tu niko na mimba na naza 
ndio natumia kondom kumbe kuna watu wengine wanatoboa this is the painful money Indeed, I cannot fail to mention Robert Oma. Thank you, Robert Oma. That was landmark reporting, and indeed, that was painful money.